here with the champ, Alexander Volkanovsky, fresh off the UFC 266 press conference. And a uh, little bit of words back and forth, especially during the stare down. What mm. were you saying to him there at the end of it? Oh, just, just letting him know. Like, he thinks that, uh, you know, I only say these things in front of camera and all that type of stuff, you know what I mean? But, look, mate, things have changed since uh, on the Ultimate Fighter. We were, you know, there was still that little bit of mutual respect. But, you know, I just told him, like, you, go that, okay, you don't deserve this belt. You know, you don't deserve it. You know, you're unprofessional. You're a cheat. I didn't even know about that. I don't even know how that was under wraps for so long. How isn't that out there? You know what I mean? These people should uh, pay the, the consequences of doing like that, and they, and they don't. So, uh, you know, after that, he lost a fair bit of my respect. And then everything he said after that just annoyed me. So, and then you hear him going, oh, if he wants to say stuff, yeah, I'll fight him in the elevator. And I'll just let him know, like, mate, we've all grew up fighting our whole lives. Don't think that for one minute I wouldn't fight you in the streets as well. But the beauty of it, we get paid and do it on Sunday. On TV, defend the belt, and, uh, and still. Why is it important for you to, to vocalize all that stuff? I mean, I'm sure that you've thought certain things about your opponents. But like, why do you need to tell him that to his face right now? Uh, it's just, yeah, again, that's, I see weakness. I've seen it while we were even in the Ultimate Fighter. There was certain things that even uh, while we are playing cornhole. I've never played the game in my life. Excuse my language. Um, I've never played the game in my life. And uh, while we're playing, it was uh, pretty tight at the start. He's already looking for a way out, already making excuses as if, oh, I'm done, I don't care who wins, you know, all this stuff. I'm like, you can make your boys money here, uh, you know what I mean? So uh, just, just weakness, looking for a way out, making excuses. And, you know, again, he's got all yes men around him, all that type of stuff, and rocking up late, like, what team of coaches and managers are going to let you just rock up late to absolutely everything? I'm professional. You don't deserve, you know, I've, I've worked my ass off from day one. No shortcuts to get to where I am. And seeing people, you know, get lucky and, and you know, again, he's get, you know, he gets beat up half the time while he's fighting and then he lands some good submissions or, or, a, or a knockout. Again, I've got respect for him. He obviously evolved. I don't want to act like he's not a good fighter. He is, but again, talent only gets you so far. He shows me that he takes shortcuts. He's proved that. And I just want to let him know I know that now and I'm going to let him know. Like, that don't stand with me. And like you said, you respect his skills. Uh, he said... Yeah, look, mate, especially, like, obviously after his uh, last performance, he showed that he's definitely evolved. I'm going to give him respect there. He steps in the cage, I'll still give him respect. Mm -hmm. But again, you know what I'm all about. I'm just a regular bloke. I say that. I've said that time and time again. I'm just a normal bloke who puts everything on the line and got to where I am, purely from hard work and not taking shortcuts. Mm -hmm. So people that take shortcuts, cheat and do all that, I'm pretty vocal sometimes when I hear, even the same as DJ Dillashaw. Dillashaw. I said something about it. So it happens that they're teammates as well. Yeah. So, uh, you know what I mean? But, and I'm vocal about it. I probably would have been more vocal about it, and I probably would have uh, been a little more annoyed with him during the, the Ultimate Fighter House if I knew that earlier. Mm. But, I mean, for some reason, it's not out there. And it should be, because uh, if anyone cheats, their name should be run through the dirt. You've talked a lot about a finish for this fight and how important that is to you, and it comes across to me as very genuine. Yeah. What does that mean, though, that you'll go in and look that, for a finish? I mean, aren't you always kind of? Hey? Aren't you always kind of looking for a finish? Course, what does that exactly mean when right. you're out That's there? That's what I was going to say. You're always looking for the finish, always. You know, again, you got, oh, it's Ortega, you know, there's that, that bad blood. You want to go punch his face in and get the finish? Yeah, for sure, but it's more than that as well. Right now, it's just, just winning's not enough. You know, for my career and where I am, legacy, all that type of stuff. You know, I'm a competitor. I am. So winning comes first. I'm going to be calculated. But I want that finish, and I'm going to look for it. What does that mean? Does it mean risk? Does you, will you take a it risk may, in this no, fight that you remember, may not? Remember, I'm, I'm a smart fighter. It doesn't mean I'm going to be stupid in there. I'm going to be calculated. Uh, I see, again, I see weakness, right? You know, why would he do that in the first place? You know what I mean? He's, he's lazy. He rocks up late. He, sleep, he sleeps until like 2 p.m. every day. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I'll be able to crumble him. I don't think he's that headstrong. Uh, you know, I reckon he's a... Not going to be up for up for that challenge. Yeah, I believe he, you know, he has that punch's chance just like anyone. But that's how I look at it. I'm going to crumble him, and I, that's where I see the finish. I know he's durable. He showed that he's got a great chin. But the gas tank is where 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 the finish will come off. Last thing for you, obviously, uh, lockdowns going on in, in Australia. People are cooped yeah. up at home. Like, does that does that put anything else on you? Do you feel like you got to do something for your country in this circumstance? Or yeah, do you like it, it does. Just even just winning in general, bringing that belt back home to Australia. But, you know, putting on a great performance and a finish, and I want to put smiles on, on everyone's face back home because it is tough back home. It's, things are getting wild over there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the lockdown, and it, it's tough. It really is. So, uh, you know, it's, you know I'm, I'm blessed and lucky enough to, to be where I am to be able to do this. So, uh, you know, it's so much more than me just defending my belt. Uh, I'm doing this for Australia.
I really am. You know what I mean? I'm going to go there and, again, put a smile on their face. We appreciate the time, man, and best of luck in the fight. Looking Thank forward you. to it. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.